Oh, now I feel good. Where's my poster? It just fell on the floor. Uh -huh. oh, uh -huh. This poster is causing a lot of problems. <laughs> Scott, could you put my poster back up behind Robin? Please. With something other than gaffer's tape. That's not very sticky. Yeah. Use some of your bodily fluids. Those are sticky. <laughs> Stick it up there like glue. Why couldn't he? Oh, he can't use the pegs. I guess he doesn't want those to show on camera. Uh, that's fine. I like pegs. Hang it from the ceiling. Huh? Tie ropes to it. <laughs> Suspended. Yeah. <sighs> Robin, would you mind holding up my poster so that it wouldn't... Just stand there and Wait hold minute, it. Give it to me. I know where to put it. Here. You put it in front of your face. Here. I'll hold it right here. Okay? All right, no, but cut the lips out so we can hear you talk. There you go. Let me see if you can talk through it. Hello? All right, that's close enough. That's good. We can hear you. I'll just yell. It's a little, your voice is a little obscured, but it's okay. Right? Yeah. Or maybe I should just talk slowly so it's understandable. You can cut a hole in the mouth so you can talk through it. Are you sure you want to obscure the poster? Yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> that was a good idea. <laughs> All right, Gary will hang it. He's good at that. He comes from a long family line of people who hung things for a living. That's right. His brother was a framer. I'm right. sure he used to get a lot of hanging experience right. at that flea market that used to work. Gary, while you're there, hang yourself. <laughs> he says, hang yourself while you're here. <laughs> he heard it. <laughs> Scott, the engineer, who messed with my microphones? You think I don't know? What do you think? I'm stupid? You hear how I'm hoarse today? I'm a little. Mm -hmm. I'm losing my voice a little yeah, bit. you're yelling. You're because straining. they touched my microphones. Oh. They had a big discussion probably with the e-network, and they said, well, we're going to try and see if we can do it. I can't have this going on. I know when my microphone's been touched. These guys think I'm idiots, and now they'll come in and say we didn't touch a thing. They I never touch anything, but they always fix it later. Because they can't believe that I like my microphone up so hot. They say it doesn't sound good, but I said, I don't, Scott, admit to me now and don't lie to me. Who touched my microphone? I cannot again? confirm or deny anything was uh, changed. What does that mean? That means I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I work, I leave here. Where I don't is know what Richie? they do technically. No, someone touched them. I can tell from the levels in two seconds what's going on. I am yelling for two days. They touched it. I'll tell you exactly. What's today, Robin? Today is Thursday. They adjusted it on Tuesday night. Yesterday it was like this, and today. Okay. I, I really. And what it is, I don't realize it for a day, and I'm hoarse. I really don't know. No one had. I said want anything turn up the me. level right now on my microphone. I can't. I can't adjust it. It's in the board. How long does it take you to do? I can't do that. I'm not allowed to do that. Yes, you are. I'm giving you authorization. What do you no, mean? No, I got to rip out the whole mo module. <laughs> <laughs> They touch my equipment here. They touch my equipment. I beg them, don't touch a thing. We've got the number one radio show. Leave everything the way it is. It all works if you guys just Every leave things alone. Every three months they do this. So now you think it's with the prompting of the E people? Yeah. Everyone's saying, well, he's overmodulating. <laughs> yeah, but we know that. I have to overmodulate, okay? It's, it's a problem. It's the way he works. It's the way I work. Just leave it the way it is. I'll, I'll find I'm out. I'm not changing myself for television. Now, give me more makeup. <laughs> rip out that module right now or I'll rip out your hair and you'll be bald again. I can take that hair away. Stern giveth the hair, he can take it away. <laughs> yes, you can, Bull. That's right. Okay. Right, so you just look into it for me. Don't even make a joke out no, of it. No, 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 I won't. All right. Get out of here. Okay. No one, no one can take you on camera for that long. You're going to ruin my ratings on the show. Well, where's my makeup? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your makeup is the bag in the corner there. Just put it over. Scott, from now on, every time you walk into the studio, you have to have See? a bag on your head. No. You Come on. No, Boy, no, that's you funny. That's going to be your thing on the TV show. Whenever you walk in, there's going to be a bag on your head. <laughs> that's You're the good. unknown engineer. Yeah, okay. but then I'll let you take it off sometimes. Oh, how All nice. Right? But it'll just be your thing. Get a special bag, cut the eyes out of it. Okay. And a little hole for you so you can get air through your mouth. The unknown engineer, right? Right. And you can have a big cigarette sticking out of the, uh, the bag. <laughs> yeah, just paste the cigarette to the bag. And then put your wig on top of the bag. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you fun. go. Oh, that'll oh, be great. I love it. Oh, boy. You know what we ought to do? We have to make a special bag. Yeah, right With there. hair. With hair. <laughs> there you go. Now, for now, just hold that piece of paper up in front of your face. You can't see. Wait a minute. There you go. All right. Very good. Thank you, Scott the Engineer. Please, I'm losing my voice from what we'll you guys did. We'll check into it today. Somebody sure. measure him for eye holes.
Oh, now I feel good. Ralph got his nipple pierced. Hey, show it on camera. Come here, man. Oh, I hate yeah, that. You got to see this thing. Come so here, man. Sick. Dude. He's got such a large gauge on it. Watch. Yeah, I know. He, you got too big a ring. Look at this. Ooh, can, and it's can always the camera in the get way. that? It's all dried up. Look at that. Come on. Hey, come, come over here, man. Walk over here. It's, it's Howard, 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 look at it really close. It's around. It's like it's scaling. Yeah, because you know what it is? Crusty. That's He's the got word. really big nipples, Ralph. Seriously, yeah, like a woman. Like eraser. Yeah, pull, pull up your whole shirt. Look at this. First of all. <laughs> Why can you show that of a man and come not here. of a woman? Hey. You see? I don't know. But you see? Yeah, sit on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> He's always wanted you. Sit on my lap, you big homo. <laughs> We're going to the gay game. Hey, look. Look at this. Can I touch it? Yeah, look. Look at his size. Is it, does it hurt? Yeah. Look how big they are, right? Like, he's got a nice chest and everything. Play with it a little bit. <laughs> hey, man, come on. <laughs> look at the size of this earring. Why is it so big? It's not an earring. What is it? The nipple ring. Yeah, but look at the size of it, dude. Everyone gets a little tiny one. Well, you know what? I thought if you're going to put a thing on your nipple, it should be kind of big. I, I don't know. I, yeah, I but your nipples no are big already. Why would you draw more attention to them? They look kind of funny. If I was, if I was you, I would have put a a, a, a berry a ring berry. <laughs> <laughs> right through that, me. right through that berry. Has he been with a woman since he got that? Berry? Have you been with a woman since you got it? Um, no. no, no, no. Well, you got it a while ago, dude. What the uh, dude get off yeah, my lap, man. Come on, get off. Stupid homo. But remember the day you hit him in it? Yeah, I punched him in his nipple ring just to see what would happen. <laughs> oh, I went, you were doubled over. Oh, I went down. Like, Which is worse, getting kicked in the nuts or getting punched in your nipple ring? Punched in the nipple ring. Really? Really? Wow. I, would, that hurt. It hurt so bad when I got a pierce. I had no idea. And it hurts more the bigger the gauge you get it. But I had no idea. I just went in there. I was like, oh, this looks cool a little bit bigger. Yeah. Oh, Rob, you smell, man. Like Ralph what? was just on me. He has like body odor. My wife was complaining about it. She goes, Ralph comes over, because Ralph goes over to pick out my clothes. Yeah. She said, Ralph was trying on your clothes to see what would look good and stuff. And, um, I don't Then everything and he, smells and she said he No, she said he smells. Well, then your clothes are going to smell. I, that's what she was saying. I said, well. I don't smell. No, you do. Hey, smell him, man, gorilla. He's going to say yes no matter no, what. No, seriously. Just, just smell him when he talks and stuff. <laughs> He smells what better. Is, smell I, I don't, I don't, maybe it's his breath. <laughs> it's his breath. Talk to, get close to gorilla and talk to him. Hello. Hey, hello. Yeah, his breath is kind of reasonable. Is that what it is? Oh, Ralph. Mm. I, I had garlic last night. Yeah, I know. Well, dude, why don't you get some Maybe breath assurance? Like I, I, yeah, I should get... Yeah, that's... <laughs> Jaeger and breath is... Uh, oh, man, you foul everything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I couldn't get... What is it, Gary? You know, I noticed... Seriously, not just to go far off, I did notice like an odd smell today, but... He smells well, our, every day. Our oh, intern oh, said that he has tuna breath all the time. So. Uh, really? I don't think it's tuna. I, I eat tuna. Uh, yeah, but it's, I, I like the smell of tuna. That ain't tuna. You like the smell of tuna? That's tuna after it's been regurgitated. <laughs> <laughs> tuna breath. That's the smell of duty breath, oh. not tuna breath. Oh. That's a tuna after it made a duty. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you tomorrow, Rob.